Hi, I'm Claudia St. John, president of Affinity HR Group. We are your HR partner and resource. Well, here's something we didn't expect. Who would have thought that it was easier to close up shop and all rush home on a moment's notice 14 months ago than it is to bring employees back now that the pandemic is beginning to lighten up a little bit? But that is the case. In fact, we've been talking to a lot of our clients who are struggling getting employees back in the workplace for a variety of reasons. Some of them are still concerned about the health risks. Some folks have uh, childcare issues. Some folks have hesitancy, just a, per, uh, just a personal preference. Uh, and some folks just really enjoyed working home for a period of time and found that they were productive and would like to do that on a temporary or part-time basis going forward. There are a lot of reasons why it's hard to bring folks back. That doesn't mean that it has to be a headache for you. What we encourage you to do, just as we sort of limp through the rest of this pandemic, establish some structure around those unique and varying requests. Develop a form so that employees can express to you in written form why they're asking for some flexibility to continue to work remotely, either full-time or on a part-time basis. And if possible, get documentation for that reason, if it's an underlying medical health reason or if child care is continuing to be closed down, schools continue to be closed. Whatever it is, try to get those, those requests in writing, get the documentation, and also make sure that you capture for how long. Is this just through the end of the school year, another six weeks, or is this through the summer? Uh, is this until uh, further notice? Try to get some sort of time frame that they're requesting and a time frame that you can agree to for that request. Remind them that this is not a right, this is a privilege. And there are positions and there are employees for whom working remotely may not be a good thing. Some positions can't be worked out from home. You have to be in the office. Other employees may not be that strong in their skill sets or in their capabilities or in their performance, and you would rather have them in the office. So you may have two very similarly situated employees one that requests and is granted a, 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 an opportunity to work from home and the other that simply can't be. It is not a right, it is a privilege. And make sure that you understand if it is performance-based, what are the reasons for that performance? If you have folks going out, maybe sit down with them and talk about how you will evaluate performance. It may not be something that you've done in the past, but how will you as a team, you and your employee, to come together to establish performance parameters so that you can evaluate how they're doing at home? And if there are folks who cannot work at home because of performance reasons, maybe work with them on those performance issues as an incentive to get them to improve their performance. Of course, all of these situations are going to vary on a case-by-case -case basis. And for those of us who like a standard, who like a, a policy that we can lean on for all cases, this will, this will drive you a little bit crazy. But if we have a standard for, for managing these variety of requests, at least we'll know that we can manage them, evaluate them, and respond to them in a non-discriminatory, fair, and equitable basis. That's the important part, to make sure that you're not discriminating against anybody for any particular reason. So you want to establish some sort of stretch structure to look at these on a case-by-case -case basis. All along, we have been saying that this is all rubber bands and bubblegum. We are still in rubber bands and bubblegum territory, but we are getting closer toward the end of having to do this. Although uh, statistics show hybrid is the way of the future. So um, establishing a, a standard and a process for managing these requests will help you not just now, but in the future. For those members of our HR support plan, we will be delivering and developing a leave request form and sample policy for them for free. Uh, if you're interested in this, just reach out to us. You can contact us at contact at affinityhrgroup.com. Of course, if there's anything we can do in the future, just let us know. Please share this content, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and like us uh, as you find us on social media. That's it for us. Hope that you're being successful, and we hope that you have a safe and productive work week. Take care.